Hello and welcome my beautiful Sagittarius. Brenda here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of January the 16th to the 22nd, 2023. Let's get started right off the bat. Let's see what we have with your first energy card here. Your first oracle message is expansion. So definitely you're moving forward in a positive direction. You're making changes and you're evolving and going through cycles in your life. This is a new beginning. This is going through growth and the changes that are going to come in because of it. Um, you're going to be recognized and the need for, uh, and have the need for extra rest and personal care while you're integrating these new energies. So don't wear yourself out and deplete all your energy while you're going after what you want. But there's going to be a lot of development going on here. Pay attention to everything that's going on around you and the effect that it's having on you. This is beautiful. Moving forward, going through expansion, seeing growth. Next card you've got is the Otter Spirit. And the Otter Spirit is interesting. It's about letting you know that you're never alone. You're going to have companionship, support, friends. Maybe you're going to be getting together this week and doing more things with your friends, having the comfort of family around you as well, maybe in time of need. But this is a card that's going to make you feel wholesome, make you feel, make you feel wanted and needed and a part of somebody's life. I like it. Coming in next, you have the death card. We know what that means. This is the sarcophagus, and often it means the end of a situation. Um, something's going to be over. It's complete. It's done and done. You're taking time out now to reflect, recharge, and, um, you know, relax while you're thinking about where you want to go in the future here. Something's going to end. This is transformation. This is going through a new beginning, and it may be absolutely a new part of your journey here you're going to be going into, whether it's your job, your career, relationship, or a move. On the bottom of the deck, you have the High Priestess. Trusting, trusting, trusting. Yes, your own intuition, my beautiful Sagittarius. Um, and the power that you have to do this. You have great abilities almost to be psychic and be able to look behind the veil. Doing your research, getting the knowledge that you need. She's usually depicted here in the traditional tarot, sitting on her seat of power, her throne. And she's got the Akashic Records or the Book of Wisdom on her lap because she's done the work and she's very, very secure and very confident about her moves going forward now. Um, this is about you not racing into action right now, taking your time and going after what you want. There's no reason to, to race into anything. Um, just withdraw from the noise uh, around you and do your own work here. Silence is golden. Keep some of this information or your dreams to yourself right now, close to your chest. Don't let everybody know the information or the direction that you're going right now, okay? Um, this is about you being able to work on your own goals without sharing too much of it with other people. Now, the King of Cups is coming in here in your first row, and this could be energy uh, coming in behind you or past tense, the Hierophant and the Eight of Cups. So we talked about the Death card. You are definitely walking away from one situation and going into a new one. You're going through a change here, transformation. And also, you could be leaving a situation. It could have been a relationship. It could have been a job. Something that you don't want to go back to. This is a card of balance. You're not there yet. You realize that something's ended here and you're going forward in a new direction. And it's taking you time. It's taking you time here when something ends to go into a new new direction. So it, like I say, this is not a rush. You're working on it. The King of Cups says you could be getting great heartfelt advice from somebody. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, perhaps. Um, this person has the ability to bring their wisdom from their experiences and to be able to guide, mentor, and possibly coach you and teach you some coping skills as you move forward into this new beginning. Um, I always say lucky are we when this King of Cups steps forward, this beautiful person who wants to be there with their wisdom to help us out. Kind, caring, compassionate, and honest. Hierophant says... You may be hearing, a, getting a blessing or a message from the divine. Um, there could be something that you're going to be doing now in a more traditional manner. You could be bringing new people into your circle of friendship. You may be walking away from certain situations and other people to go into this new, uh, this new growth of expansion here and bringing people that are only going to support you and have the same faith and belief that you do in your goals to be happy. Others may be dealing with things that might have to do with the church. There could be a wedding. There could be a renewal of vows. There could be a christening or a baptismal, something that has to do with the church. Okay, let's see what we have here. Coming in in your center position, which could be the middle of the week or the energy you're feeling right now, you have the two of wands, you have the temperance crossing over this energy, and you have the hermit. You're definitely changing things up here, Sagittarius, going in a new direction here, going through new growth, closing doors and opening new ones. This is a new beginning for you. Um, 
this journey that you're on is like a time out for you. You may have had to take a time out from a relationship, a friendship or something like that uh, to seek your own to seek your own path here. Um, you could be leaning into mentors. Again, this could be the King of Cups coming in here, someone who guide, mentor, teach you coping skills and uh, send you their wisdom. You, but you have the ability, once you get this, to go ahead and teach, preach and convey information to other people, to light the path for other people, Sagittarius. Two of Wands says, get ready. Get ready to do things here. Uh, moving forward. This is a card of, of waiting for, uh, you know, your luck to come in, your ship to come in. But you may also be doing things with a partnership here. You may be partnering up in business or on a personal level. Uh, this is a card that says, keep moving forward. Don't give up. Two of Wands is a card of almost success here where you're going towards your goals. Temperance is coming in next. This is this is definitely balance, okay? Keeping yourself balanced, knowing that you can, while you're in this time of hermit and temperance here, taking your time, you may be conversing with other people here. Another person, again, would go back to this King of Cups, someone coming in here to guide and mentor and help you. Um, take your time. Don't over overdo, over obsess, um, you know, over analyze or jump into anything too quickly. The temperance says do things in moderation, okay? All right, coming in next. Uh, in the row coming in towards you could be possible future energy or the end of the week. You have the Nine of Wands, you have the Page of Pentacles, and you have the Moon. Don't get up in your head. This is, uh, you know, obviously this is the Pisces card. But it's also the card that says, don't disillusion yourself. It's always darkest before the dawn. If you're dealing with challenges this week, um, know that, you know, once you find out the information that you need to do with this, with the with the uh, the high priestess and trust your instincts and your intuition, you're going to be able to go forward here. Um, you know, keep your eyes open um, and don't go jumping into anything too quickly. Uh, don't hold yourself back. Find the information that you need. Sometimes secrets come out in the you know from that arise that are going to be coming out from the shadows that are going to help you see a picture much clearer. You know what I say. The moon is the biggest, brightest ball in the sky, and it illuminates absolutely everything in its path. So know that you have this ability. You're going to see this clear sight line. So just don't get up in your head and disillusion yourself. The Nine of Wands says, keep moving forward. Again, don't give up here. Uh, you've created something here, and you deserve to keep moving forward and watch this growth and expansion coming in. I do think you're going to have help from others as you move through this new beginning. Uh, keep going forward. Do not give up, no matter the opinions of other people or those that are doubting you. Keep going forward, and you're going to hear good news. Page of Pentacles is that message that comes in that says, you know, you're going to hear good news about finances. You may have been in a position where you felt lack and loss, but now is your time. Now is your time to receive a message from this Page of Pentacles. It often has to do with something that could have to do with your career and money. And it could be good news, okay? So, um, you know, you're doing your research here. You're moving towards a new area here uh, of being able to promote yourself and improve situations around you, going in that new direction. Um, you may be taking a course, of, new course of study, wanting to get a credit, a degree, um, you're something there that's going to level you up on your resume as well. So your, pl your plans are going to move successfully, but at a steady pace, okay? This is going to work out for you. Don't get up in your head and sabotage yourself here with worry. Well, my beautiful Sagittarius, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon.